morning, you guys. Today is a very unexpected vlogging day, but I told you that I was gonna try to take you along with me if something came up with like one of my shows or my symphony concert or any of the other like artistic or theatrical things going on this month. This one was not planned. Um, oh, hold on. There's a woman in the Starbucks parking lot that's being very animated. So yeah, it is Thursday, August 10th. And yesterday I was cleaning up the office, getting ready to go work on some music. There's a few auditions coming up that I am kind of getting ready for. And I got an email in my, um, not my YouTube email, but like my regular Gmail account. And it was from a woman who told me that she is working on a documentary or a docu-series. I've never heard of the term docu-series before. She told me she was doing a docu-series on millennial performers and like the harsh realities of like this business and how it is nowadays in like 2016, 17. And she had seen my cruise ship video here on this channel. And then she had looked at a couple other performance videos I have on other channels. And she wanted to know if I was interested in doing an interview with her to see if I would be a good fit for whatever kind of performer she's looking to cast on her docu-series. Uh, to my knowledge, if selected for this, I don't have to go anywhere. Her crews come out, like I'm sure you've seen reality TV shows like The Biggest Loser. P.S. She cast The Biggest Loser. But today is going to be interview day. And as I was not planning for interview day, I have everything set that I need to work on for the day. Um, we're doing act one in the musical that I'm working on. I'm still scheduling a programming meeting with the symphony director. Oh my gosh. Sorry, a gentleman just drove over the curb. People get ridiculous at Starbucks. Like they are nasty over here. But anyway, today I thought I would take you guys with me um, through my interview. It's in three hours. It's 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time because she's in Los Angeles and she knows that I am on Eastern Time here in the Midwest in Columbus, Ohio. But either way, I thought I would take you guys with me and we will see how the day goes. But first, let's get some coffee, shall we? Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can we get for you today? All right, starting the day off with some coffee. Um, as I wasn't honestly preparing to vlog today as I'm pretty sure I've just told you like 10 million times um, I'll try to highlight the best parts of this day at this stage of the game like I'm not nervous I've done interviews like this before and it's not like I'd be getting on a plane and going to LA for anything to my knowledge but um and if that does happen PS I do have the vacation time paid time off floating holidays in my day job which is really nice I've made a mental note to always hold on to two or three of those in case I have to travel somewhere for performing filming what have you but at this stage of the game it is phone interview and if I'm a match to what she wants and she didn't tell me exactly what she wants because I'm sure she just wants to see who I am what I've done like all that stuff without me knowing exactly what she's looking for and if that goes well I have to have a Skype interview with her the preceding hour and honestly I'm not nervous about it I packed my laptop in case I do get a Skype interview I will be going to either the library with Wi-Fi or the Starbucks down the street from my office and I have my new headphones so I can hear her because I don't want to be in a loud Starbucks not be able to hear her on a Skype interview and I was just doing a natural hair day I don't know if I've even ever shown you guys my natural hair this this is it. This is the mess when I don't do anything with my hair these days. It curls and waves. A year ago I got the keratin hair treatment so it's been staying like less frizzy which has been nice. All right well let's see how this day goes. Like I said before I am ironically not nervous at all. Maybe it's because it came into life so quickly I don't really have time to think about it. I actually had to look on my calendar to remind myself oh hey there is a woman who contacted you for a show that she is casting. It's not every day that somebody from LA messages somebody from Columbus, Ohio and says, hey, can we do an interview for a show I'm doing? And it's not a competition series. She made it very clear. This is literally just they come in, they'll shadow you and they'll ask you questions 
questions. They'll see what you're working on. They might even schedule it on a day that I may be doing my musical or singing with the symphony, which would be great. I prefer the symphony one because they can actually see like, there she is with the symphony orchestra here in her city. That would be great. But again, I don't have any say over this and I don't know. Well, let's see what the future holds. All right, I'm gonna take just a minute with this coffee and give you guys just a quick life update since I wasn't planning on vlogging. Uh, musical rehearsals have been going very well. I have my dress fitting for the symphony next week and that is something I will take you guys with me on, but I think the video will just mainly focus on the symphony. I wasn't gonna really give a life update, so I figured I would just give it now. I feel like my life has been very much blocks of time. Like I block out time between seven and 8 a.m. to work on my stuff. I block out eight to nine to get ready and get to work. And then I work from like nine to four. And then it's go home, eat, change clothes and go to rehearsal, shower, rinse, repeat. And it's not easy. It's very monotonous. Um, I won't say it's uncommon for people in the performing arts. This happens a lot. This is how they balance paying their bills with doing what they're passionate about and I mean I wish it could be easier I wish it could be oh I'm working in this theater as an actor and here's my pension 401k and insurance package like that would be great but unfortunately that's not the world we live in so we have to balance and juggle several different acts to you know survive exist pay our bills and feed ourselves and again I'm not saying I'm a starving artist I'm sitting here drinking Starbucks in my car this isn't bad this is the cinnamon dolce latte and it's really good i've never had this before so that is my very quick life update just busy with rehearsals preparing my concert i'm actually just counting down the days until i get to go on vacation all right i'm gonna go into the office for a little bit get some work done review act one i'm gonna say it here and you guys can ask me in the comments kristen did you review act one of pirates of penzance and i'm gonna say yes Yes, I did, because we're gonna do the whole sing through tonight and I'm gonna be ready. That's the kind of positive thing I need in life. I will talk to you guys later and I will definitely vlog before the phone interview. And I will let you know in this video if she wants to go on to step two and do the Skype interview. Alright you guys, it is 10 minutes until interview time. I have on the desk my schedule, notes, and of course some water, and then if water's not good enough, I have more of these like LaCroix knockoffs that I got. If you watched my Aldi haul, which I'll link above, these are basically like the Aldi version of LaCroix. But uh, she should be calling soon. She's gonna call me. That's so cool. That does not happen. I think I'm getting a little bit more excited. Nerves haven't set in, it's just more like excitement, I guess. But I think I have everything prepared here. I've never done an interview like this, so I think just having schedule of availability and notes of what she wants, because again, she could just say this isn't a fit, so I figured I would have notes here just to kind of keep up with the conversation. And I will try to vlog a little bit of our talk and then I'll get back with you guys after the interview. I'm gonna have lunch and then depending if she wants a follow-up Skype interview, I have my laptop in the bag and I will be going to Starbucks down the street for that. Gotta go, oh my gosh. Hi you guys, it's two o'clock. Uh, the meeting ended about a half an hour ago and it went so well. Um, the woman who I interviewed with asked me if I would be able to Skype with her and I said, that's not a problem. I have my backpack here with my laptop. I can easily go to the Starbucks and we can Skype. And she said, actually, Kristen, we need, to go to, we need you to go to a private place. I'm sorry, I can't speak. We need you to go to a private place. We're going to have you sing 
like 30 second selections of various Broadway songs. Is there any way you can go someplace private and we can Skype there? And I said, of course, I'll go to my home studio. And she said, okay, I'll meet you there. Uh, three o'clock your time, noon, Los Angeles time. So I'm gonna go inside, fix this hair, change clothes, and then set up my Skype camera in front of my music studio so we can do our second interview. It's gonna be her and two of the producers. And when this is all over and I take a deep breath, I will come back and let you know more in uh, more information. Again, I cannot speak at all. Um, more information about the initial interview and I'll update you how the next round goes. Uh, that's pretty much all I can say right now. I will see you guys in a little bit. T minus 30 minutes until second interview. Hi you guys, it is 10 minutes till go time. I've got this room cleaned up and the piano's ready, music's ready, and if you guys wanna see exactly what I see, can I flip it? I set up my ring light so they get good lighting in this call, and then let me put the light on this up. This is how we are going to Skype. This is how I will audition for this. So if you ever wonder how the glamorous life of auditions goes, it's sitting in your home in front of a light like this by yourself looking into a camera. And normally when I film online auditions with the internet, I can shoot as many takes as I want and edit it. This is going to be a live sing for them, an interview with producers. And I've calmed down a little bit since the last time we spoke, but it is time for me to go. I will talk to you later. Bye. guys that interview went for a half an hour um, just like in any TV interview you had to answer their questions with the question so if they asked what's your favorite color you have to say my favorite color is so there were one or two times where I would answer a question and they would say you know let's go back and you start that sentence with such and such and such but uh, it was good they asked for two extra songs I had to prepare and then they just said hey can we have any other clips of you is that okay and I said sure why not and that was it uh, at this point in the game she's already said I'm gonna recommend you to the producers here the producers were in the room but they're gonna send exactly like my interview to them when they make that final decision and then they will contact people they want to use in a month but I'm not going to wait a month to share this with you guys I'm gonna post this in next week's batch of videos. So kind of an eventful day, and I promised I would take you guys through all of my music endeavors. Um, I did say I would get more in detail with the initial audition, and the stuff I can tell you is it's going to be a TV show that is outlining the lives of singers. Like, the reality is that we have to work various jobs to get in front of the right people and the right auditions and the right gigs and the right shows to kind of just support ourselves and be financially stable and continue in our art. And they asked a lot of really great questions. We had a good dialogue going and whether or not it happens, I mean, it wasn't on my schedule or my radar. So if anything else, I got more interview and online, you know, practice. It was my first actual call to LA, so that was kind of cool. They were really nice. The woman who found me through my videos on this channel and my performing channel, she said that she liked all the videos there and thought I would be very congenial and easy to talk to, and she was this like beautiful blonde lady. She was really nice. But other than that, there are a few forms I still need to fill out, um, and they want some pictures, some video of shows that I've done, and I'm gonna send them everything. And then I'm gonna wash my hands clean of it. I'm gonna go to rehearsal, and then in a few days, I have my dress fitting for my concert, and I will take you guys with me to my summer symphony concert, and then I will also still be taking you guys with me to my musical. So I've got a concert and a musical coming up, and I will keep you guys very much posted if, A, they follow up on this interview, and B, if I'm allowed to tell you any more about the show, titles, and tailment, it's not reality TV, it's not a competition, it's a docu-series. That's as much as I'm allowed to say now, but 
I will catch up with you guys later. Thank you so much for following me on this random unplanned vlog. If you like this sort of stuff, give me a thumbs up and then leave me any comments you want in the comment section. I can't really think of anything right now. I'm usually really good at leaving me comments on these topics. I'm just kind of drawing a blank because this day was so random. Less than less than 24 hours ago, this woman reached out to me and since we have interviewed, I have sent her documents and I'm gonna send her even more. So just leave me any comments. You can wish me luck or break a leg or whatever you guys say. And if you're watching this unsubscribed, go ahead and click that subscription button. Anyway, that's all for now and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.